family. But now we're going to use but to join sentences. We saw but before. So let's see it again. Uh, before we saw but joining two adjectives and it means different. Now I'll show you how to use it with sentences. But shows difference. Look, I have two sisters but I have no brothers. I have two sisters, but I have no brothers. But. Okay, another example. She has three children, but she has no grandchildren. Oops. Okay. She has three children, but she has no grandchildren. Okay. Now let's practice. Now, I want you to tell me two different things about your family. So, Isabel. Okay. I had two aunts, but I have no cousins. Good. Now, Lisa. I have two grandfathers, but I have one grandmother. Is one grandfather widowed? Yes, he is. Okay. Now, Ali. I have three cousins, but I have no nephews. Good. Now, can you make other sentences with but? Ali. I'm single, but my father is married. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Lisa. My mother is married, but I am single. Okay, that seems to be our theme. Isabel. My grandmother is married, but my grandfather is widowed. Very good. Now, let's practice a little bit more. Let's review. Ali, where are you from? I am from Turkey. How many brothers do you have? I have two brothers. How old are they? They are 8 and 13 years old. Okay. Are they handsome? Mm, yes. Now, ask Lisa some questions. Lisa, how is it going? Great. And you? Just fine. How many sisters do you have? I have two sisters. Uh, where are they from? They are from Germany. How old are they? They are 16 and 18. Are they pretty? Yes, they are. Hmm. Okay, Lisa, ask Isabel. Okay. Isabel, where are you from? I am from France. How many uncles do you have? I have three uncles. How many cousins do you have? I have ten cousins. Wow. Where are they from? They are from France. Do they speak French? Yes, they do. Very good. 